This segment of Hack 5 is brought to you by Domain.com. All right, welcome back. It's time to get our Google Authenticator on for a Let's second factor of authentication. Yes. But first, I have a challenge for you, Shannon. Do you? Yes. Okay. I feel like I feel like it's time for a shot because we're doing a little ah, authentication no. here, so Oh god, no. We're going to have to do a shot. I don't want to. Well, you have to. Oh god, just what's in here? How it is. Slun chair. Oh god. Oh yeah. Really? Yep. Okay. <laughs> oh. <laughs> All right. So <laughs> the first oh, thing you. that we're have, going to have to do here is um, to get our Google Authenticator set up. And, and I know that you've talked about it in the past. That's that fun, happy thing where you pull out your phone and... My throat's burning. Nice. <laughs> and you... Uh, pull up the Authenticator app on your phone and then it gives you six random digits and you plug that into your Gmail and you get to log in yes. you know, with a second factor of authentication for Google. Yes. And we've talked a little bit about second factor of authentication with like, you know, the YubiKey, which is nice. However, sometimes you're in a situation where you can't easily plug the YubiKey in. Like, you know, if you're on an Android phone and you're like, that's, and let's get not one of those cool so NFC well. ones that we saw at RSA. That's those were awesome. I want one. It's not going to happen easily. So <laughs> I like the Google Authenticator. I think it's a great method of second factor authentication. And this is a good example of, as we've talked about already, password based authentication mm -hmm. for uh, SSH, uh, key pairs, which you love. Now we finally get into, get, uh, get into keyboard interactive. Yay. OK. Because that last one was kind of a hack where it's really your <laughs> yeah, password yeah. concatenated with your YubiKey. So um, this all, get this, it's a PAM module. Oh, it is? Yeah. Oh, nice. So that password, password authentic authentication module. module. Yes. So uh, we're going to basically be able to download from Google Code, uh, which is kind of like SourceForge yeah, or, or, yeah. or GitHub, um, the, the source to this uh, library, okay. plug it into PAM, and then configure our SSH daemon so that it always uses that authentication. OK. OK. So the first thing we want to do. <coughs> is I just went ahead and did a wget here, and you see that I've downloaded uh, Live Google Authenticator. Yes. And that now means that I'll just go ahead and tar uh, <laughs> jxvf, that file, libpam. To extract that, I'll head over there, libpam, and do an ls tech la. You can see I got quite a few files there. Well, they're all .c files. This isn't made yet, meaning okay. it's not compiled. So really, all you have to do from here is a sudo make install. And oh. so that's going to go ahead and compile this and install it. Okay. I've actually already done that, so we don't need to go ahead and go through that process. Um, but you know, once that's installed, it's really, really, really simple. Okay. Just a matter of modifying our sshd config. So let's go ahead and do sudo vi slash etsy slash ssh slash sshd underscore config. <laughs> and what we're going to need to do down here is there's one option that we're going to have to change to yes. That's challenge response authentication. So I'm going to type okay. in response. You can see here it says challenge response authentication. And I had this set to Changed, no. But you have to change it to yes? Yeah, so go okay. ahead and make sure that that is yes. I already have mine as yes. And so now we can move on to the next config file. Okay. okay. So you may find some guides about setting up SSH based authentication with the Google Authenticator, mm -hmm. but recommend that you edit this file in, uh, I'll go ahead and sudo by slash in slash etsy slash pam.d slash common dash auth. Okay. And I'm here to tell you, don't do that. Okay. Why? Uh, in <laughs> fact, you can see here I've already commented it out. This line right here that's commented it out. Um, the reason that I, I commented this out was because I accidentally did this, and you really, you know what common auth does? All of mm. the authentications. Oh, like all, everything for your, your operating system? Yes. Oh. You can see how that might have been a problem when I tried to log into GNOME. You, yeah, you try to log in and it says your password is wrong, right? Yeah. Oh, Thankfully, it's easy sucks. enough if you have, you know, I, I can imagine if this is like a server, like say you got a VPS, you know, yeah. domain.com or whoever, up in the cloud. 
um, sure, you could do that because mm -hmm. you don't have the, the issue where you're logging into GNOME or KDE yeah. or whatever your window manager of choice is, Unity. Well, um, anyway, uh, you, you could do that if it was like a headless machine. For your own production machine, you probably don't want to do that. So okay. here's what we're going to do. Good to know. <laughs> Similar to what we did with, um, with the YubiKey is that we're going to sudo vi slash etsy slash pam dot d slash sshd. Okay. And you can actually see here is my authorization for my YubiKey, and I've commented this out, and this was the one for uh, the previous episode where we talked about that. Right, All we yeah. have to do is add this line here that says auth required, and then pam google authenticator dot okay. so, right? So with that installed, the last thing you need to do is uh, restart sshd, which lives in etsy net.d ssh, and then you say restart, and then it complains that you're not doing it the right way, but whatever, <laughs> of it works. Of course, of course. And there you go. So now what we have huh. is um, we have our SSHD mm -hmm. using our Google Authenticator, but we need to first set up our user account to actually use ah, Google Authenticator. Of course. Okay. okay. So um, in this case, what you do is you run Google dash Authenticator, and it says, uh, do you want to authenticate tokens? Um, do you want authenticated tokens to be time based? And I'm going to say, yes, yes, I do. Let me remove this one here. Yes, OK. And so I say, yes. OK, and so here's what it's going to do it's going to give you this URL. So I'm going to grab this and put that in my clipboard. OK. OK. It's also going to give you your shared sec uh, your, your secret key your verification code, and some emergency scratch codes. You want to write <laughs> those nice. down. Okay, yeah. Put those like in your wallet or, or mm -hmm. whatever you may do to uh, keep those secure. It also is going to update my Google Authenticator file. And then it's going to ask if I want to go ahead and prevent um, retries uh, more than 30 seconds right. so that somebody can't just try to brute force. Okay. So I'm going to say, yes, let's do that. And then it's like, hey, dude, sometimes you know, your server and my server, they don't have the same time. So you want a four minute window? And I'm like, yeah, let's do that. And then we can also do some rate limiting. And so I pretty much just answer yes to everything. Mm -hmm. So when you're done with that, what will happen now is, remember that uh, thing we added to our clipboard? I'm going to go ahead and paste that in, and I get a QR code. Oh, cool. So now I fire up Google Authenticator on my phone, uh -huh. OK? And I go to, me, or for my, I in my case, well. I'm in Android, so for me, it's under menu and then add account. I don't know what it is on the iPhone, uh -huh. but it's similar, where it says scan barcode. Yeah, yeah, I did the same thing to I choose scan barcode, and I confuse it with all the studio lights, but then I hold it up to my screen, and there we go. And now, nice. in addition to our Google Gmail, my, my Gmail account, yeah. it'll say uh, Darren at DK10. That's this host, that's my username. And now I've got this okay. six-digit number that changes every 60 seconds. So now, if I go back to my computer, and I SSH Darren at, and we just did this to this machine, localhost, verification code. So I go over here in 404.115 is my code right now. And then I enter in my password. Mm -hmm. And there we go. I'm logged into my box. Awesome. With something that I have, my phone with its application something that you and something know. that I know, my password. That's awesome. Yeah. I it's mean, so you could, easy. You could actually uh, double dip and set it up so that you're... So you can do your YubiKey, YubiKey yeah. and the Google Auth? Oh, and dude. And your password. That'd be like triple authentication? Yeah, I don't know. You know, maybe there's a PAM module for like one of those fingerprint scanners, for all I know. Hmm. A little oh bit of gelatin gosh. can bypass Watch, those. So. Watro authentication? <laughs> <laughs> all of the authentications. <laughs> that would be awesome. Yeah. Well, thank you, Darren. That was uh, very important. I'm going to have to link in the show notes this awesome other article that I uh, saw when I was doing research on the subject, okay. where somebody uh, set it up so that they could continue to use uh, key pair based authentication, the public and private keys that we like to use as well as this, by designating, it turns out, in your authorized keys file, yeah. if you go into that file, you can specify it to force a command whenever you log in. And that command they force oh. to run a Ruby or Perl script that they wrote that then does the Google Authenticator. Mm -hmm. So they were able to stack Google Authenticator on top of nice. their already key pairs. Yeah. And, I mean, at that point, you're like uber secure. And yeah, that's, that's, good a, stuff. that's a lot of authentication. Yeah. Oh, cool. All right. Awesome. So hit us up, feedback at hack5.org. If you have questions or suggestions about this kind of stuff, uh, I know that we just got an awesome one about, what is it called, Duo? 
Yeah, uh, that's right. Yeah, we did. That, that was really pretty good. interesting. We'll have to that. check that one out. And mosh. we will be right back with a little bit of the Technolus photos, awesomeness, and the trivia. But first, it's time for another shot. Oh, God. I'm joking. Let's go. Let's go. <laughs> If you're setting up a website for your new business, showcasing your portfolio, your new blog, domain.com is the best place to go for your next great idea. If you need to register a new domain, consider getting a new .com. You see, a .com is the original. We all know it's the best. It's globally understood. It has immediate credibility no matter what name you choose. Or if you're even into investing and buying and selling domains, .coms have the greatest aftermarket value. Find new .com domains over at domain.com. You know, Shannon and I love them because they're so easy to use, they're affordable, they're reliable, plus Domain.com, they're so active on social media like Twitter, they're at Domain.com, they got great customer support, it's really just a fun place to do business. So the guys over at Domain.com want to hook our fans up with an additional offer, get this 15% off the already affordable domain names and web hosting if you use the coupon code HACK5, H-A-K-5 at Domain.com's checkout. That's 15% off and big savings, so don't forget to use the coupon on code HAK5. When you think domain names, think domain.com. The All right. Slon chair. Slon chair. Time for, uh, oh, you know what? That's apt. Not get installed, but I'm saying it's appropriate. Why? Well, Slunter is, uh, is oh. Irish. Oh, for what? Uh, to your health or something. Oh, hey, yeah, Irish. Yeah, you, you have to slur it. It's like, it's like lawn chair, except you just slur it. I don't know. Or I'm probably, You know, if only we had somebody that speaks Gaelic in the audience that could send in a hmm. recording or something. Hmm. We do have this friend named Archiver. Oh, he's always trying to get on the show. No more pictures <laughs> of Archiver. Well, it's not pictures of Archiver, though. What is it? All right, well, he sent one of his adorable wife named Aoife. Oh, yeah. And her adorable little... Geek inside. Her geek inside. Cute. Her, her bump. geeky bump. <laughs> <laughs> and he also sent a picture of his brand new daughter from a, maybe a month ago. Oh, wow. So she's officially the youngest fan that we have of Hack 5. Right, this moment. And I know she's watching the show because she's wearing the darn t-shirt. Yes. And there's a, there's a Down Easter with her name. <laughs> there's a what? Really? Yeah. Aww. Anyway, let's. What is uh, a down Easter? A uh, boat. Oh. Yeah. Oh, really? I don't know. That's Somebody's cool. gonna correct me on this one. I just know there's a bunch <laughs> so of. So not cultured. Awesome. Uh, <laughs> oh, what are they called? Ballads. Yeah. Ah. Anyway, let's go on. Well, you Trivia can send time. your feedback over to feedback at, or you can send your pictures to feedback at hack5.org, and you can use the subject line technolust if you want them featured in next week's episode. Yay! Yay! So last week's trivia question was, when was the Microsoft IntelliMouse, the first successful optical mouse, actually released? I know, the same year the Unreal Tournament was released because <gasps> that's the year that I started owning with it. Yes! Still own with it too. Unreal Tournament? 1999. That's my game. That's correct. Yeah, that when, are we gonna, awesome. when are we going to face off anyway? Aren't um, we doing like Quake or what soon. did we say we were going to do? Minecraft? Uh, What's the Half-Life Deathmatch? Oh, Half-Life 2 Deathmatch. We're Me doing and my it. HL2DM. Yes. Let's do it. I'm like Hawkeye. Yeah? Yeah? yeah. Okay, well then I'll be, like, um, <laughs> I'll be like um, Radar. And I'll nice. bring a teddy bear. <laughs> you don't get the Hawkeye reference, do you? No. Okay, somebody there does. Well, I get my Hawkeye rec reference. 4077? Adventures. No. Okay, so <laughs> everybody's getting the trivia thing right now. What? Yeah. <laughs> this week's question is, AMD's 8-core CPU, codenamed Zambez, Zambezi, Zambezi, I think it is, retails under what name? Hmm. Obviously, it's not Zambezi. <laughs> is that a, like, a, like a Zamboni? I have no clue. Okay. But you can answer over at hack5.org slash trivia for a chance to win some of my swag. Hooray. We also value your feedback, so send it to us. Feedback at hack5.org. Let us know what you think about the show, what you'd like to see on the show, yes. where this crazy series is all going and, and whatnot. More shots. Or just comment below. Yeah. <laughs> what kind of shots you would like us to have. Of course. And Jello don't shots. forget, you guys can always follow us over at hack5.org slash follow. We have links to all the favorite social networks, and you can find all the information over there. And if you like what we're doing and you want to support us directly, hakshop.com. It's where you can get t-shirts, cool hacker gadgets. We get some fun, awesome stuff happening with Wi-Fi Pineapple right now. I'm I know. so excited. 
excited. Yeah, this is gonna be really good. Yes. But uh, we'll, we'll wait until, uh, we'll just tease you with that now. Head over there and find out before we even announce it on the show. It'll be on The Hack Shop. Nice, and until next week, I am Shannon Morse. I'm Darren Kitchen. Remember to trust your technologist. Real quick, I wanted to let you guys know that we've created a small anonymous survey to learn more about our viewers. So please, please go ahead and head over to revision3.com slash hack5survey. Take a few minutes, answer those questions. You have no idea how important that feedback is to us. It helps us out so much. So thank you so much if you can go ahead and head over there and do that for us. We'd really, really, really appreciate it. Not then, we all authenticate. Yeah. Hey, Salkman and uh, Drew, uh, uh, Drew Randall and Metal Wolf and Captain Harlock. To respond, and then we'll all can. I'll can Kate. I'll can Kate you. I'll can Kate. <laughs> all right. IRC. You are C. IRC. We all C. For. Yeah, the stuff. You go sit somewhere. Okay. Go sit in timeout. Okay. Never show my ankles. There you go. Oh, pff, ankles. Whoa. Hey, now. Sleep. This is a family show. Yeah. I'll start wearing the tank tops. No.